The script wrote itself, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This was the hardest thing to write we've ever done. A Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, is the sequel to Neighbors 1, colon nothing. They don't understand the most important rule of sisterhood. There's no I in sorority. Yeah, there is. There's two, actually. There's actually, there's just one. Do you know yeah. how to spell it? Yeah. Sorority, well, U-H. Spell it. Just gotta get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is the next chapter in these people's story, as opposed to what's just like a bigger way to tell the same story? <laughs> we all kind of went about it objectively as audience members, and we're like, well, what do we want to see? What did we think was funny? Kappa Nu destroys you. <laughs> we wrote like 15 versions of this movie. We wrote a whole thing about a place called Dormopolis that had like different parties on different levels and it was gonna be like the raid where they had to go up like an eight floor, eight themed party. Making a sequel I think is just an inherently challenging thing no matter what, unless you have a, a cape or a superpower. We do have Teddy Sanders who's, who has his own sort of version of a superhero, but. Mark, do you guys have a rental agreement? I don't understand one thing that you just said to us. Last week I was like sleeping in a bunk bed. Yeah. I can't make an ego. I can't make one. The best sequels keep the same themes from the first movie, but the characters are in a different emotional place. It wouldn't be interesting to see two characters who still want to party. You know, that would have suggested the entire first movie never happened. No, no, no you get out. No, you no, get out of here. No, you get out of here. No. Oh. Get the fuck yeah. out of our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about growing up in one way, shape, or form. In the first one, Teddy was afraid to grow up because he was no longer gonna be a kid, and Mac and Kelly had the exact same issue. They thought they weren't like full-on grown-ups, and they were, and they just couldn't come to terms with it. In this one, it's we've accepted that we grew up, but now we don't want to accept that our kids are gonna grow up. Truth is, it doesn't even matter if we're good parents or not, because one day, our daughters are gonna look at us just like those sorority girls do. They're not gonna want anything to do with us. They're gonna talk to us. It breaks my heart. Mama. Do you guys think that's what I need? Like, a wife and kids? No. no. Teddy is very lost at this point in his life. Zach realizes he is a grown-up, but his life is not the fitting of a grown-up. This is literally all I have. I, I don't understand. Why is this happening? You're an old person. Chloe's so excited to be a grown-up that she, like, can't wait and just wants it all right away. You want this, to live like a, a, a drifter murderer. What about this pizza? How old is that? That cheese is moldy. Cheese is mold. I can eat it. God, have you inherited oh, my stupid gene? Look at you. <laughs> That's the point of college. I'm my own parent. When did you start talking like Eminem? You were the one stifling me. I'm going to talk you... like this. I'm going to talk like that. We're from Nebraska. That's the point. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Mr. Stoller keeps going, trying things. He's always trying things. He's got a very creative, impish kind of sense of humor, which he lays into the comedy. And uh, he just keeps going until he finds something he thinks is funny. If he laughs, you know he kind of made it. Nice to see her. <laughs> really, I miss the sound of her screaming at me. Go. Oh. And Kiersey just go, ah, ah. <laughs> Nick basically, uh, one of the weirdest things, he was like, just uh, smile, but be dead inside. I was like, okay. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> That's what I love about improv, though. They're like screaming at you, like, say dumb fucking bitch. Hey, me, Nico, I feel like there are people watching us right now. Okay, I feel like there are people watching us oh right my God, now. There's no one watching us right now. We're I completely alone. Them. Go fuck your mother. Nice shorts, I can almost see your pussy. <laughs> The bird. Oh, no, no. God, tampons! Oh, that's filthy! Stop it, you animals! Get off! Uh, Stop it! Oh, my God, Mac! <laughs> it's far more edgier than most comedies I've done before, in that, like, they push the boundaries, definitely. Oh, no! <laughs> Up until this point in my life, I had never even touched a tampon. But now I'm uh, fluent in tamponology. There's very few stunt girls that I would do that to, and uh, Mandy Kowalski, who just did that, is one of them, just because I trust her and she's a stud athlete. She made it out, she made it out clean, and uh, couple little scrapes, but you know pretty much going into it that you're gonna get that, a little road rash, but 
she's uh, good and everyone's happy. <laughs> You can hear their laughs from like a mile away, so you know if you're doing something right when you get their big, hearty laughs going. I'm a painkillers, motherfucker! Capital! What the fuck? We have a callback to the airbag gag in the first movie. Why would they just break in and steal an airbag? I don't know. We should follow police. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's supposed to be me. He's gonna take the hit. Three, two, one. Oh, shit! It's not easy being a stunt dummy. Oh, God! Oh, no! Get this man a rag, you We've been trying for a while to figure out how to do the airbag, how to do an airbag callback uh, without, without doing an airbag. Kapanu fooled you. Kapanu, break more! Airbags! 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 This is not a drill! The first film was one of the most brilliant seat-related gags in comedy history. Fuck that! Turn them over! Turn them over! Get the fuck out of my way! In the business, this is what's known as going for it. And so I went for it on this last one. Um, Nick just said, when you run past, maybe bump into that little, uh, that filing cabinet. And everything just kind of collapsed and destroyed on itself. And it was funny. I committed to it unknowingly. I didn't know. Is that I think the desk actually committed more to it than I did. But it went for it. All right, we're cool. <laughs> My main goal here is that we. This is good enough that we do five more. I'm not getting greedy. Five more, right? I mean, that's seven total. Neighbors three. I'm thinking high school kids. Your own kids move in next door, and you have to get them out. A neighbors three. Like in the White House, about to blow up if Teddy and Mac don't work together. Like a gang of babies move in. Neighbor Seven is like they find out like aliens are moving in next door because it's got to be way in the future, right? That's just it. Listen, I I haven't copyrighted that or anything. That's like they can use that. All I want is you. You switch to that side, boom. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just go, shh. <laughs> yeah, they could already be half cut. Yeah, yeah that's good. Poker night! I think we all came back that much more committed. To come back and work with these guys again, it's just, it, it's so much fun. Around the table and then we hand on. A selfie. Selfie stick's really funny, I think, yeah. Selfie stick! It's great to be with the guys. Feels like we haven't left. I see the guys a lot, actually, so, you know, but it's fun to be in this setting and the same place we shot the first one is really interesting. Oh, come on. Obama did an interview and now me. There's only two. Because we all know each other and all like each other, there's just an immediate comfortability, and it allows you to have more freedom to say dumb stuff. Dumb aside! <laughs> and just fall on your face and not care what people think, and the best stuff comes out of that, the silliest and weirdest stuff. We're designing experiment rhino strip clubs, which is actually, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, one miscalculation, you're staring at a butthole instead of a beaver, so the girls, they just, they really rely on me. You know, he's got his architecture firm that he's working at, and he just feels more just adult in general. There's a lot of pressure involved in being in a frat. I mean, I took a lot of girls' virginities for literally no reason. I still have nightmares about it. Pete is engaged now. He's also gay. He's engaged. What, like, what did, what did you think was gonna ha happen? That you two would move into your room and that I, that I would live in my room. 
like for happily ever after. Take as much time as you need, man. Like, yeah, just like you know, like 30, 30 days. Thirty days oh, would but. be great. All the other Delta Sag guys have gone on and accomplished something cool. But Teddy's still working retail. Work's been like a little bit of a bummer, you know. They eliminated the shirtless models, so now I have to walk around in a, this monkey suit. Looks like a really soft sweater. I hate this shirt. I fucking can't move in this shit. Like, honestly, like, I feel restricted. He's essentially wearing the same exact wardrobe from the first one. He's got the same haircut. He's got the same everything. He hasn't really, that's, that's his whole problem. He hasn't progressed at all. I'm the oldest person there now by, like, six years. I had to cover for my boss, Mason, because he had to go to his prom. Oh. And then another time he was out for a whole week because he had the chicken pox. This poker night, this night that, they're, that his friends are together, really the only thing he has holding him together. So he's in a fragile state. At least I have you guys. You do. I love you, you guys, you man. Do. You do, okay. Yes. Delta oh, Sound. Man. Once a week, Delta Once a week, Sound. every Monday. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what's going on with your app? Changing the world. I mean, one dick, a couple balls at a time. Scooney now is very successful and runs his own app called Dick pic. An app that makes your dick pics bigger. That's yeah, yeah. genius. I just wanted to take pictures of my dick. I don't want to be on the cover of a Wired magazine. You can send pictures of your dick and adjust the size accordingly. If you got a really big dick, you can make it smaller. If you want to present it nicely to someone, if you have an average dick, you can make it bigger. Yeah, just smooth yeah. out your taint. Just smooth it out. Just kind of just make your taint look good. You know, we got a new balls and taint expansion pack. Smooths out the balls and makes the taint more approachable. It's very exciting. And maybe a butthole app. The world needs it. Send it to your mother. I've seen a lot of dicks. I've seen a lot of dicks. Gerard is now a police officer, which we like to joke is the only way he cannot get shot. Look, you can't beat him, join him. I am literally the man. Literally. Like, last week, I wanted to protest myself. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of rules now. We got to wear body cameras and all of that. I don't know why they gave me one. It's not like I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah, what do they even do, really? Yeah, I don't know. I cover them up to smoke weed a lot of times, yeah. but you grow up, you know, and have a surprise career choice. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about me joining the cadet program in the first one, like just in like, I'm sure it's in like the outtakes for me and Hannibal. There's some openings in the police academy. Oh. They got a great diversity program, so. Oh. They're looking for black cops. This is what we're doing with partners, man. We'll drive around, get high, fuck with kids. It's all based on this movie, Super Troopers. Put it in don't your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, you like it, don't you? Hannibal say, uh, this is your training day. This is your training day. This is your training day. How you like to get wet? What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs>
Capano, we gonna do what we do. I like that one. Capano threatens you. It's a little hard to call the cops without a phone, ain't it? Give us that back! No! Stop it! Whoa. Oh. Ah. What the fuck? Go to the court, dumbass! Fucking old people phone! Come here! Oh shit! Sorry! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How's the baby? The baby's fine. But next time, like. Get her down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we really wrote the character for Chloe. She's done like intense action movies and she brings that intensity to the role. <laughs> She's got a very self possession about her, which is um, kind of remarkable for someone her age. I don't really have much of like a social life when I was when I was in high school. Girl, you don't have to say it. We get it. You had no friends. I think, you know, different collective groups of friends. Like one group, one group, we would like wait at the bus stop together in the morning and then we would ride the bus to school together. That was one group. And we actually are encouraged to, to mess around with the lines and I can kind of just be a total ham and get away with it. Hillary Clinton, Joan of Arc. <laughs> I am Joan of Arc. It's really embarrassing. Remind me never to cut a pixie. Kiersey Clemens plays Beth. She's kind of the preppiest of the three and very like put together, but she's just as insane as the as the as the rest of them. She has kind of like an awkward silliness that you want out of a freshman, sophomore in college. I haven't slept in like seven days. I just don't want to miss out on anything. And now I'm like seeing things. I wanted to make sure what her age was to make sure I was allowed to find her sexy. If she's 22, I'm allowed to find her sexy. <laughs> She's like an overly sexual toddler. Like, she's so trying to figure herself out. What do you do when kids misbehave? You spank them. No! Oh. Don't sexualize this, Beth. No! I'll no. Destroy her. No! I'll no. Destroy her. Dean Feldstein comes in and says the most outrageous funny shit. The back of my pants is 401k, it's a jeans company. Fuck, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> I just graduated college, so I am trying to reflect on my freshman experience. It can be really, really scary to come to a school in a new town where you don't know anyone. We're here for you. Don't be scared. I'm a little scared. It's just me. I also know nothing about drugs, so it's been really funny to like have people be like, this is how this works, or this is what this does, and I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, I think I, they taught me how to use a lighter. Here, they're like with a candle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got real fucked up really quickly just now. <gasps> Me too. Yeah. He gets to like lick my face. You know, it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> Fighting and then like kissing and then choking. It's very reminiscent of how my wife and I make love. That for a moment, I was transported from the set to my bedroom at home. Anyways, I shot that scene with her and somehow my wife got pregnant. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> These wigs smell terrible. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really acting. I'm Ratchet. I fucked the pizza man. I gave him five stars on Yelp. He was a generous lover with his cheesy sauce. <laughs> um, Nick said earlier, if someone makes you laugh, you can just laugh, because it's a movie about making friends. Happy new. Sells out our values. Once you start, it's hard to stop, you know? And then what if you just keep laughing until they have to fire you? Has that been like defanged? What does that mean? It's kind of your first intense college friendships. And that's really what I was most interested in telling the story of these girls. There's definitely like some real friendship behind the girls of Kapanu. We kind of became like a like a sorority. I get along with them really well. We hang out. I just turned 13. <laughs> we'll like have sleepovers and just talk about like boys and give each other advice and just really cheesy stuff that's fun for girls our age. Kapanu. Bids you adieu. Gas branch. one we've tried to push ourselves even farther with you know the tailgate sequence you know it's like this crazy action sequence but I went to a very small liberal arts college that didn't really do any big sports so this feels like a very different experience there's like 500 extras on set today which is insane <laughs>
I dressed a couple. Which is nice. She I dressed a couple. couple. She oversteps her bounds. I did a little bit. I did a little bit. Kapanu is trying to sell weed in order to keep their house. And uh, Mac, Kelly, Jimmy, Paula, and Teddy are all here to steal the weed. Then it's all of us running around, fighting, and me kind of linebacker, checking people. We got one of the directors from Crank to help us out. He does this crazy thing, this guy Mark Neveldreen. He's on rollerblades with a camera. And action. All the sorority girls pelt him and pound him with cuts of meat. And it actually hurt. I have like bruises all over my body from beef. Okay, so here's his face right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Bam! Yeah! Get in there. Yeah. And that's a great thing about acting. Normally, if you want that to happen, you gotta throw out like five grand to make something. But here they're paying me to let that happen. I love you! Just like a Carl Jr. at oh. At one point, Teddy gets the, the bag of weed and is running across flaming hot grills. That was like really fun to shoot. Whew. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Zach got new abs for this movie. So he has 14 abs. He has three back abs and 14 front abs. So 17 abs. I'm gonna be honest. With baby oil, you get like two extra lines here. Really? Yes. I oh, gotta man. start getting baby oil. You, <sighs> you're just drawing two more lines like I did. Yeah. He's got a six pack. I was like, you gotta make that 12 pack, dog. Make it a case. Make it a case. <sighs> All right, let's go. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's really hot. Ow, it burns. Whoa, rub that shit in. All right, rub it in. Rub it in. Jesus. Whew. Oh my God! God bless you. Get it all over. What? What the fuck are you doing? You're in a rush, Mac. Okay, come on, Mac. Get his thighs. Okay. Can tell you where your dick ends and your leg begins. He's got that fuck vein. He's got a fuck vein. Keep going. Keep going, guys. I need more. I need more. Some meat here. Let's reset. <laughs> Never even seen got, this body part. He's got a six wow. pack in his armpit. <laughs> what? Jesus. Nothing. He's nothing. I mean, good. God bless you. God bless you, kid. <laughs> we don't need his abs to make a successful movie, but it does not hurt. I was shooting him topless against that fence right there the other day. His abs played a camera well. They catch the light in their divots and curves. And I just started to ask him all sorts of questions about like alkalinity and water, because he knows everything. He wasn't like born with a perfect body. He works hard. Do you do free weights? Yeah. Do you do like uh, cardio too? Yeah. Do you ever do like a, like a P90X or Insanity? Yeah. 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 What about just like a, what about like a slow walk? Yeah. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Here's the plan. I'm gonna get up on stage and I'm gonna dance. You know a dance. Dude, look, don't worry about me, guys. I'm gonna crush it. Yeah, he's gonna crush it. You Just know what? do your thing. I believe him. Originally in the script, uh, I thought it'd be funny if it turned out he was like kind of bad at it, uh, but he was like, no, I think I crush it. It was a little awkward. It was a little awkward. I watched Magic Mike, you know? I was like, what do these guys do? It's cool. I watched that. I was like, oh, I can copy that. It was pretty embarrassing that like watching Magic Mike and like trying to do what they did. <laughs> Which I did for like two days before filming that scene. Uh, yeah. Oh no! He's your dick! I think the hairy back is so important that the stunt double had to have fake hair put on his back to pretend to be sad. Oh, you mean this? <laughs> I think it's spot on. Seth got extra back hair plugs, mainly to open in Germany. The German market's all about back hair, or back hair is the term that they use. Uh, and the biggest movies there have, have a lot of back hair. You're really turning me on with your muscles right now. Wish I could get a new dick painted on. It's so tough who's better, but at the end of the day, whether it's Zac Efron's stomach or Seth Rogen's back, I'm gonna come on one of them. What's up, neighbors? Nice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my girlfriend's birthday right now. Oh, no. So, yeah. Amazing. Sorry about that. <laughs>
<laughs> Indeed. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That Hillary Clinton twerk. Yeah! Look funny? That's okay, okay, that's okay. Fuck my face! Jesus! Christ! Hold on. <laughs> You look so pretty. Hey, Bill, this counts as vacation time, okay? So, I'm Bill. Yeah. All right. I ate pussy. Really? Cool. <laughs> Can you guys do it? Well, my brother's a detective. Because <laughs> of me, by the way. What's the, I don't know, I forget what's next. What's, what's next? <laughs> I'm so brain dead. Uh, and then is it Kappa Nu? Uh, it's shit line. Welcome to Phi Lamba. Lamb. <laughs> La Bamba. <laughs> gay guys really. Shit, gay guys what? Stop making my sexuality like some sort of delicious. Hillary Clinton! John of. <laughs> 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 One miscalculation, you're staring at a beep. Fuck! <laughs> I drove a Subaru, so I'll take it one more time. <laughs> Choked on my heart. Um, We're gonna start a sorority that can do whatever the fuck it wants, including this. <laughs> Grown man to be helping a bunch of girls make a sorority. Do doesn't that? Do doesn't that? Last try, I promise. Yeah, so our firm, we just got a new account. We're, uh, we're design experiment. He's really good at that. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it's just about the only thing I'm good at. Should I just keep doing this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna do the bridge walk and then I'm gonna come home, okay? Okay, that's great. Okay, I'll see you in like th th four days. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I don't know, we're still let's <laughs> grow. <laughs> You're laughing already. <laughs> We are esc we're escrew. <laughs> um shit. Line? Fuck. Daddy Warbucks did it. Shut the fuck up. Welcome to fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Wait, fuck. We're screwed in our fucking asses. <laughs> Sorry. Go for it! Do whatever it takes! Yeah. And then... <laughs> Watcha waka waha. Okay. Uh. Sorority? What? <laughs> Remember when we fucked? Huh? Oh, guys! Oh. Easy! Easy! Hey. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> and I asked, who is... <laughs> <laughs> I ask myself, who is Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> There's an H, Tundi. The Hundi. I don't know. <laughs> Before you do anything, Teddy, you need to figure out. Shall we on this? We won't use this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years. Bang. Dead. 
Time is going normal. I'll give you, having a first kid, as you're about to experience, is a big deal. Second kid, it's like having two dogs. They play with each other. Here's how you know time is going fast. I can look at Stella and I can see her hot lady face over her baby face. You know what I mean? That's disgusting. I'm projecting the future. I'm telling you, in 18 years, your daughter's gonna be fucking hot. You should just stop. You know when you look at a baby picture of your wife and you're like, oh my God, she was so cute and now she's so hot and I'm fucking her. No. That is what it is. Look just at stop talking about it. Just stop. All I'm saying is, Stella's a baby right now, but very soon she's gonna be a teenager and she is gonna hate you and you're gonna have nothing in common and it's gonna be terrible. That's not true at all, man. We're gonna get along just fine, I think. Has she started saying no yet? Dude. She said lots of stuff, but if I'm a good parent, she'll love me forever. I think you're freaking out right now. I'm not freaking out. I, that's what you say when you're not freaking out. But inside, you're like, I'm fucking freaking out. I don't wanna talk about this while I'm smoking weed. Life is changing. You've been at this company 15 years, dog. Jesus Do you Christ. realize that? They got a mug. They gave you a mug that says 15 years. That's fucking insane. Our friends are dying. Do you remember Joel Waterston? Yeah. Yeah, dead. How Found a doing? weird little mole on his shoulder. Was driving to get it checked out, hit by a bus, dead. Think about that shit. Are you guys smoking weed over there? Fuck, fuck, shit, shit. I, I thought this, this we way, were this done way, with this it. This way. This Fuck, fuck, come I on. I can see both of you running around. You look like idiots. I can see both of oh, you. Oh, fucking. Hi. 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 Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing I'm today? good. Mm -hmm. I come to try some news. Tell me. My mom is quitting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what? I have to, I have to quit. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Do you have a minute? Uh -huh. yeah. I have all the minutes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, I'm sorry. I just, uh, no, I just, um, I just wanted to have a quick chat. Um, Mac and I have been talking, and... and you know, with the new baby coming, obviously one parent has to be at home and we're removing as well. And um, I really don't want to quit. I love it here. Yeah. It's so progressive and incredible. And don't you get sad. I'm not. Don't worry, I'm still going to be here. It's just for, you know, a few more months I'll be here. So it's not yet. It feels oh. like it's now. I know. Right. I know. But it will be a while where we'll just say goodbye in tiny pieces every day. Well, that's a little dramatic. I'm sorry. But <laughs> we won't I just like... really, really need you here, I, I feel know. like, and I, I, I really know. like you a lot. I really oh, like, for oh, example, stop. you walk in a room and you do light it up. Stop it! Don't say things like that. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> not gonna cry. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> cry either. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> okay. Mm. No, you keep it yeah. together. <laughs> you keep it together. I am. You keep it together. You keep it together. No, please. <laughs> Motherfucker! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was I'm not really uh, even sorry. at you. I'm really, really <clears throat> sorry. I'm flattered. I'm flattered you're this upset. And I, you know, I. It really means a lot to me. And yeah. I've, I've had such an incredible time here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bring it in. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We we're, like, oh. we're not gonna say goodbye. We're you're not like say goodbye. the Australian me. And you're like the New York me. Oh, you're so sweet. You can just say Jewish. <laughs> you actually, I'm, you're like the Jewish me. <laughs> right? You're so sweet. You're like a living candy, yeah. but then you're a killer in the office, <laughs> and it's killing me. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm out here. I'm but back here. Do you need the Anderson brief today? What's that? I'm sorry, I can't. I don't know. Anderson brief? Do you need that? Anderson too? brief. Yes. Okay. So great. Coming right up. <laughs> oh. She's so delightful. Oh, fuck. What's up, Mace? Hey, Teddy. Where have you been? I've been trying to Snapchat you all day. I've been helping out a sorority, my special set of skills. But when you show up late for work, you should probably call and let us know. I don't think you understand. Man. Like, these girls, they really need me. No, yeah, I, I totally get it, but you work here, so it'd be cool if you, you showed up for, like, while you're on work hours. 
know what you should do, Mace? Yeah, what? Go fuck your mother. What? Dude, what the fuck are you wearing? A crop top and a scarf? I have to wear it, it's our fall collection. Are you hot or cold? I don't know, I'm just scared right now. You're scaring me. Nice shorts, man. I can almost see your pussy. I have to wear these, why are you being mean to me? This job is bullshit, man. You don't value my skills. Yes, I do. You're a great folder. I'm not just a folder, I'm a man. Man, and this man is sick and tired of being treated like just some other dude. So we're not bros? No, we're not bros. Maybe at one point we were bros, but we're not bros anymore, bro. Damn it. Shit, why'd I say bro? So we're bros? You don't listen, bro. Shit, I did it again. I don't know how to take this, man. You know what? Bail. You're handing in your official bail notice. Bail. You know what? Don't even try and find me because I have no address. Boom. I'm taking these two. Bro, chill out these clothes right now. Fold the shirts, guys. Come on, quick. All right, guys. What are their uh, what other pranks do you guys have so we can totally fucking ruin the old people's lives? So uh, we could we could swap them. Ooh, you know, like where you call a SWAT team and they go and they knock down their door right. and they like ruin their house and take their kid. Write that down. Hostage situation with young women. I feel like I should just point out like. Pranks are, by definition, tricks that are, like, hilarious. They don't have to be malicious or evil. We're 18. <laughs> the moral parts of our brain are not fully formed yet. No. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah! I can do that! Wow! Do that. I also have these voodoo dolls, but I don't think it's working. It's like... Ow! 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 Kelly! Cool. All right, zombie. Love it. I made this solution that makes you poop for like 26 hours a day. It's dope. I'm pooping. Is that why you're wearing a diaper? I'm having like kind of a little low grade panic attack, but I will never stop poop pooping. Who are you drinking it then? It's good. It's, it's pretty good. We could cut the brake lines on their bicycles. Solid idea, Teddy. Yeah. yeah. yeah maybe. Oh no, you know what? Kelly's pregnant. Which one's Kelly? She's the woman. Oh. 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 from Australia. I have this. Whoa. Where'd you get that? I brought it from home. That is legit shit, Miranda. I'm his mommy. Okay, guys, I've been cooking up a big one. It's a bit more of like a practical prank. Oh no, our house is on fire. We need to get out. But wait, we have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's filled with butane. It does the adverse Yay. effect. Yay. Great, guys. Honestly, I'm really proud of us, all of us. I'm really proud that we band together. You know what I mean? We've riffed on each other's ideas, you know? We've come up with a lot oh, of stuff. Yeah. Good job, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. And thanks to Teddy, you know what I mean? Putting together this prank board all day by himself while we all just <laughs> sat around and watched must have been really difficult. No, it was fun. It was a good project for me. Like, honestly, I, I had nothing to do, so, you know, thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Anytime. What is going on? Get into your room. Um, Teddy, we were just thinking that I I think we should talk about money buckets. Money buckets? Yes. I've been meaning to talk to you about the money buckets, for sure. Great. Yeah. In private, in my room. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Yeah, let's go do it. Cool. Guys, come on, Target's gonna close. Target! Okay, about, like, charging, come on, shopping! Button up.
So the rush event was awesome. You have 20 new members, which equals about two buckets of money per month. And you're gonna need about three buckets if you wanna be a full-fledged sorority. Totally. But that's a hell of a good start. I like it when you talk sorority planning to me. Good, good, because I think it's definitely important and mm -hmm. definitely something that we need to focus our attention toward. I think <laughs> we should focus our attention towards well, something else. I used to have the same thing. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Hi. Just so you know, I'm a virgin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's like such a shocker. I never would have thought that you were a virgin at all. Yeah. I seem like, like I really know my way around. Dong. What? Dong. Dong. Rounding? What? A cock and balls. Cock boss? Panos. I can't understand what you're saying. Panos. Pants? Panos. Be Your penis. A penis. Oh, yes. <sighs> you d Yeah, definitely. That's the first yeah. thing I thought of. That's totally, that's totally cool. Um, I mean, everyone was a virgin at some point, right? Like me. You don't want to, like, save it for someone special? Oh, God, no. Ew. Oh. No, like especially not someone special. Not nope. no one in particular at all. Right now. You just want to do it right now. Right now. You're sure this won't affect our working relationship? You know. Nope. Nope. The only thing it's gonna affect is Muhammad. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. That is true. So you wanna ride on cowboy? Yeah, definitely. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's working though, huh? No, it's like you're going. It, this yeah. is great. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. My pants off. These are brand new. Yep. This skull from Abercrombie. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Wow! You are so vascular. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, oh, ow, 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 ow. Wow! Your IT bands are tight. Oh yeah. That's an old injury. Yeah. Muay Thai. You want me to stretch you out? Yeah, stretch him yeah. out. Yeah. Have you tried foam rolling that? You bet I yeah, have. Yeah, you want me to foam roll you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, do it harder. Yeah, you like that hard? There's the exit. There's my sorority. Let's borrow the truck. Oh my god, hurry up. You're pregnant. Your legs aren't pregnant. Okay, all right, I got this, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Can we borrow your truck? Sorry, oh. who are you? Uh, just a couple of... Alpha Tau, y'all, oh five! Woo! Do the handshake. Your sister, right? Yeah. Do the handshake. When he gets older, I'm gonna make sure of that. And you're going to marry him. I'm gonna marry my little alpha talent here. Hey, oh, I'm gonna tell the sign. When they get older, they're gonna fall. Oh my god. Love you so. Yeah. I love it. 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 I who are those people? I don't know! Woo! Yo! Why isn't there a butter wrapper? <laughs> Floors, it's not safe! 
safe. I think this is working. I think it's just spreading it around more. Well, you clean butter with bread, honey. Patty's big enough. Let's call the cops. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. It's a little hard to call the cops without a phone, ain't it? Give us that back! No! Stop it! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Go the cord, dumbass! Fucking old people phone! <laughs> what? Give me your phone! Give me your phone! No! Give me your phone! I can't do it! I can't do it! Kelly! No! Back! No! I'm pregnant! Uh. Respect your elders. Give me your phone! No! Give it! Dory! I should using that phone! Touch you because you're pregnant. Give it to me. Stop it. Give it. No, this is stupid. This is ridiculous. Yes, it is. I got it. Stop it. Bit my tongue. Hello, I would like to report a wild man of control party at two two oh three West Olmsted. Thank you. I like being the man, cause the man's got a big dick. The man's got a big dick. The man's got a big dick. <laughs> got a big dick. Where's our car? Hey, hey man, you gotta slow down. There's a car in the street. You gotta tighten up on opening. Okay, we get it. You do an amazing Australian accent. You do an Australian accent. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, great, okay. great. You do good impressions of both of us. Where are the cops? Yeah, you sure you want me to get at it? Can I hit it? Ah, this isn't good. I think we're stuck. Hey, what the fuck are y'all looking at? Oh. oh! Cops aren't coming, motherfuckers. Well, how the fuck did you do that? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. We're getting old. No, we're not. There we are. Look at this. We're eating salads. We used to eat cheeseburgers and onion rings. It's true. I've never even heard the word kale before. Now I can't spit without hitting kale. Fucking Everything man. I eat is fucking kale. Paula makes me eat it every day. Because apparently, now that I'm going to be a father, I need to stay alive. Uh, fuck it! What's wrong? Freaking out, Mac. About what? Freaking about being a parent. I don't think I can do it. You'll be fine. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything. I can't sleep. I can't, I can't even fucking jerk off. I tried to jerk off for like an hour in the bathroom. And like, I'm not the place. I'm not good. I started calling my old girlfriends in high school. I'll do that. Tell them I'm gonna kill them. I've been doing this webcam thing with this girl from Uruguay. Damn. I wanna go to Amsterdam and what? just open a fucking weed store. You can do that here. I don't want to talk about this here at work at lunch. Let's just have a normal, friendly conversation, okay? I don't want to talk about your problems. I mean, can you just be my therapist? Can no. I just talk to no. you? No. What if for a half hour I just kind of lay down in your cube? You need therapy that they probably don't have available in this town. If our friendship mattered to you at all, you would look me in the eye right now and say I love you, Jimmy. Did you watch Mr. Robot? Pretty good. It's like Fight Club. I, I thought it was going to be about a robot. No, it's not about a it's robot. Not, it's no. not. It'd be cooler if it was about a if robot. It was about a robot. That'd be a good show.
How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the nerves are, are kicking in a That's bit. That's good, man. That's normal. That's normal. You should feel that way. Yeah. Well, you look great. Thanks, okay. man. Want me to get your mind off it? Yes, please. Right. Rose before hose. I, yeah, I don't know. It feels a little dated or something. Really? Oh, let's do the chick version. Chicks before dick. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Holes before poles. Taco before Paco. Paco, Paco's a dude's name. I yep, like it. Yep. Daddy issues before cummy tissues. Harry pussy before Gary Busey. Fiona apple before Adam's apple. WNBA before Christian Gray. Beave before Steve. Lana Del Rey before Marvin Gaye. Clitoris before Chuck Norris. Beyonce before Axe body spray. Floral skirt before penis squirt. Rub it and it squirts before jizz it on the shirts. Sex in the city before Tupac and Biggie. Rachel from Glee before Chef Boyardee. Pinot Gris before giving a beige. Snatch before Benedict Cumberbatch. Bash. I yeah. love that guy, man, he's so talented. I know, he's like my favorite actor right now. Facials before facials. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. Seem really nervous. I'm having a little bit of a meltdown. Just remember, man, um, Darren loves you more than anyone in the entire world. Darren cherishes his friendship with you. Darren can't imagine his life without you. And Darren is proud to call you his best friend. You're not talking about Darren, are you? No, not really. Let's get you married, though, huh? All right, everybody, look alive, look alive. We have Alpha Groom and Best Man ready to walk. How's Beta Groom doing? I'm proud of you, man. You found your niche. Thanks, man. That month in prison really gave me some perspective. A lot of time to think, and this just seemed like a logical conclusion. Gay wedding planning. Gay wedding planning. Yeah, dude, a lot of bigoted motherfuckers just won't plan weddings for gay guys. It's a great job, and you can do it with a criminal record. Yeah, you know something I learned? Is that double jeopardy actually means you get in twice as much trouble. Oh no, right? Yeah, it was really confusing. I was so fucked up. But whatever, I found this, man, and this is like a gold rush right now. Like, my only skill is planning parties, and for some reason, gay guys specifically, they just respond to me. It's because you're a great guy. Thanks, man. And they probably want to fuck the shit out of you. Hey, fucking, I didn't say it. You did. <laughs> Don't decide. Don't decide. <laughs> you want to get married? Yes. Yeah, Let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we're walking. Let's fucking do this. 